This tutorial shows the step-by-step -step instructions for this lesson in the Omega Learning Guide. At the end of this lesson, your job should look something like this. To begin, you will need to open the file you saved at the end of the previous lesson. Open the Dimensions toolbar and dock it on the screen. Click the Horizontal Dimensioning tool. Notice that the property toolbar that was docked at the top of the screen has changed to show the dimension tool properties. Place the center of the cursor crosshair on the left side of the outlined rectangle and click once. A box will appear around the cursor to indicate a quick snap to the closest line. Move the cursor to the other side of the rectangle and click a second time to set the dimension line. The last click sets where you want the dimension text to appear. With the dimension still selected, change the font size in the dimensions properties toolbar to 1. Click the Vertical Dimensioning tool and mark a dimension for the side of the job using the same three-click method. Now select an object you want to put both the horizontal and vertical dimensions on at the same time. For example, the oval. Click the Object Dimension tool. Eight sizing arrows will appear. Clicking and dragging different arrows gives you different results. Horizontal arrows give you a horizontal dimension, vertical arrows give you a vertical dimension, and dragging corner arrows gives you horizontal and vertical dimensions together. Add a note to the job by clicking the Annotation tool. Click the pointer near the sign and drag upward. Click left to set the location. Right-click and choose End Leader Line. The Annotation text box will appear. Type in your job-related message and click the Selection tool, or click anywhere on the desktop to close the Annotation text box. You can close the Dimensions toolbar when you are finished. This concludes this lesson. Be sure to check if there are any exercises or tip videos associated with this lesson before continuing. For more information on this and other topics, please consult the Omega Help file or press F1 in Composer.